Hi, in this video I'd like to show how, demonstrate how to create this cutout design with absolutely zero digitizing skills, beginning with a bitmap. So let me just move this aside. Now with the auto digitize tools, simply select the instant smart design and almost immediately we've created the lettering with our outlines and offsets tool. I'm not going to create an I'll do this in two stages. We could do it in one. I'll do it in two stages. I'll create an offset. I'll make it a vector line and I'll offset it by eight millimeters from the edge of the lettering that we've just created. Okay. Ah, we've got a little bump there. The reason that is because the auto digitizing saw my mouse pointer and digitized that and it's done a little fill in that E. So we'll just delete both of those. And we'll do that again. So we'll select the lettering, our outlines and offsets tool. Okay. And of course, you can vary the the offset. The smaller the offset distance is, it may pick up these inside pieces here. But with an eight mil offset, it's cleared all of those. Okay. With the vector outline created, I can select that and simply turn it into a tatami fill just by clicking the tatami icon. I'll resequence it so I'll drag it so that it stitches before the lettering because we want to select the lettering which is sitting on top and from our arrange menu select remove overlaps now I'm going to minimize all these settings we, we don't really want any overlap I want to cut out I want to use the lettering as a cookie cutter if you like and go OK now I'll drag that lettering away to see the result we really don't need the lettering now so I can delete it select the um, the cutout that we've created and back to our outlines and offsets tool and now we're going to put a border in it so I'll delete, to delete the ability to create offsets and go to an outline and select the color the type and the width and okay as simple as that I hope you enjoyed thanks for watching